Hi everybody, I want to share with you my latest application, which I created with Jpeg Compose. Okay, it's a very simple application, but uh, I want to practice Jpeg Compose more. Uh, I don't know if I will put it to production and publish it on Google Play or not, but uh, the code is already uh, in Spec Overflow, if you want to have a look on it. Just one screen application, which quiz application, uh, you have a list of questions, okay? And for every question, you have a list of answers, okay? Uh, it might be between two and four answers. You choose the right, uh, the right answer, it will be, uh, it will turn the right answer text to green. And if it's wrong, it will be red. I want to also share my code with you. It's already in uh, in GitHub, as I mentioned before. I will uh, add the link to this post. Uh, as I mentioned before, the application is uh, used uh, Jpeg Compose, using Jpeg Compose for the UI. And uh, I uh, used uh, MVVM as a design pattern, so I have my view model. Uh, also, I added help for injection. Okay, I added the navigation because I want to navigate data or create uh, categories for every uh, every question, every group of questions. Also, I'm getting my uh, question from API, so I use the retrofit. Mm, and Coroutine, of course, to handle the API request. Uh, any long time process. Here in the app module, I'm providing my application with uh, here uh, the retrofit, okay, using health, and also uh, provide the whole application with the repository, which will be injected with the Fusion API. This is my API. And I uh, I handle the question API response with uh, here class called data or exception, kind of small wrapper uh, because it's a small application. So here, if I start loading, the loading will be true, okay. And with the, when I done loading and to make sure that everything is uh, correct, I make the loading false. It will help me later uh, when I show my UI. And here is my view model, just injected by the repository and getting my list of questions from the repository. I um, I separated everything in my application, okay, into packages. Uh, the first uh, for data, the second for uh, health and model, okay. Network, of course, it has the question API interface and the repository. Um, just to you tell which helps app colors and any uh, here is the page URL. Of course, if I'm production, if I'm going to production, I might add this uh, to the Gradle. Uh, also, I added a package for all the UI things. For example, the activity. Okay, here is one activity for the whole application. And one screen also, which will be this screen. Okay, here I am passing the view model from my activity to uh, the question view. Uh, every question view represents the whole screen and uh, represents one question as we, do, as we talked before. So uh, I will check the loading status. If it's true, uh, it's mean still loading. Else, so done loading. Okay. I will check my question if it's internal. Uh, I will get my uh, current question by uh, button the index, which I will start by you. Uh, it means the first question. And uh, every uh, every time you will click next, I will go to the second question unless of course um uh, the list is ended okay by increasing the value of the question uh, index 
and here uh, I first I will talk about the UI. I have column which has all of the elements in the UI. Here is a progress. Okay. Uh, this is uh, a progress so will show you uh, how much you progress through the application. Okay. Uh, it isn't progress bar, but I don't um, I don't know uh, if there is progress bar inside your back board yet. But uh, it's a button which has multiple. Uh, which has one list of linear gradient, okay, colors, uh, create list, for some effect, and the outside of it, so also, I have a row which has a list of colors represent this. Uh, after show progress, I have the question tracker, which is this part, uh, just count how much questions Question index and the total question. Write the ticket with a style and the dotted line. This is dotted line. Okay. Which is just the best effect to draw uh, to draw this line. Okay. And I have of course the question and the answers and the next button. Uh, before I go through the question, I want to press, uh, let the uh, state, every state represents something, of course. Uh, we have choice state, and uh, in the old uh, XML way, we just have uh, a list, not a uh, state, okay? But in this back compose, during compose the application, uh, we must have uh, a state which will, uh, every time you refresh the state, the screen will be recomposed. And um, I think it's uh, one of the features uh, of Compose, but uh, it's one of the things that you must be aware of how to handle the recompose of the screen and keep it just recompose when you need to recompose the screen because it uh, can go forever. <laughs> okay. So uh, here I have. Uh, also the answer state. It will handle the answer of the user. Uh, and I will ha I have uh, correct or not, which I put in represent if it's correct or not. I will start by null, not false, because uh, if I start by false, it uh, will uh, correct the full application. Okay. And here is the update the answer. It take uh, int and the return unit, which make it um, function, but uh, also use state to handle the user choice. Uh, I hear uh, kind of uh, see if the user uh, answer is the same as the uh, answer or the correct answer that the UI uh, authority API give it to me. So uh, in this case, it will be correct or not. Okay. If uh, the user answer is the same as uh, the, the choice, this is the user choice, and this is the API answer. And if it's the same, it will give uh, true to this state. And if this state is true, okay, it will make the red, let's say, okay, here. It will, uh, of course, make the green or red colors we saw before. And here. In the choices, I um, I don't have how many choices every time the API will give me. It might be two, it might be six. So what I, uh, what I did, I, I created for each loop. So uh, every time I have uh, a choice, it will do just the ready button. Okay, every time the user click on it, it will uh, update the selected and it will update the answer uh, to the state we saw before. And uh, of course, it will, when I update the state, it will update the color as we saw. And when user click next, or next, it will just increase. Okay, the value of the question index. So it will 
and of course, okay, as we told before, this is the speed, so it will uh, recompose the screen again and give the user um, another question. I know uh, I um, I went through the application. I don't know how to do this uh, very quickly, but I kind of love uh, to share this with you. Uh, you will find the full source code in GitHub um, if you want to have a look or something like that. Uh, and have a nice day.